This just sounds like Australian. We're playing with our phones right now. Uh, I think it froze. You broke Siri. It's recording, if you guys... Siri's never nice to me, and I don't like it. Have you asked her to divide by zero by zero? Oh, yeah, the friend thing? Yeah, that's so hilarious. Have you done... No. It's so funny. Divide zero by zero. Imagine that you have zero cookies, and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Holy crap, that's kind of mean. <laughs> yeah. That's I feel like though. there's truly no one that has like absolutely no friends, though. I feel like everyone says they have no friends. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I have very, I have few friends. Friends. I have, friends. I have I have friends. I have I used to have a lot of friends but I only hang out with a few of them. Yeah. I only have like okay. I'm not gonna count you guys because your family. Oh okay. Dang. But like, would we not hang out no, wait, no. wait, would we not <laughs> hang out if like we weren't if we weren't family? Would How would I know you if you were Well I'm just saying, like from like from what you know of me now, like would could we not be friends? I feel like we could be friends, but I just don't include like Family among my friends list because I feel like your family that's different by oh. default. By default, that's just different. So then it's. But not the but not the other way is true. It's not all family. I'll say like oh, no. That's, that's, that's true. true. I will be. Because I know I have a lot of family members. What are they scary? Like it's just peeking when you do that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just galloping horses running wild <laughs> in this house. <laughs> It's okay. So what's up, guys? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. I enjoyed calling my phone Opa, but I didn't understand what it said to me, so. <laughs> Should have asked it to translate it into English. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can it? I think I so. <clears throat> what's that new like app that you can ask questions? This is sound, it's not SoundHound, is it? SoundHound is a uh, is a music. <clears throat> That's what I thought it was, right? It's, it's a music. Is that the one where you streaming. can hum the melody? Because I did that for like an hour and a half. It was super fun. <laughs> <laughs> half the time I didn't recognize it though. Maybe you weren't doing it right. I, didn't, I didn't recognize anything other than like One Direction though. So I feel like maybe it's just people who are really popular. Ugh, one Direction. Yeah. I went and saw them two weeks ago. Was it good? Really? No. It wasn't good? It was like whatever. Did they replace what's his name? No, there's only four of them. Then what do they do for Zane's parts? Other people sing it. What do they do for like Zane's beauty? For his They should what? all just wear paper bags on their heads, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, you don't like the rest of them? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, but like I know Harry is the most popular one, but yeah, like but I'm, I'm speaking. But he's butt ugly. I'm, yeah, I'm speaking objectively. He's hideous. He looks like a hippopotamus. Yeah, he's his not, nostrils like go out this far. His hair always looks like he's dirty. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like, dirty. My sister-in-law is a huge One Direction fan, so by default, I'm a huge One Direction fan. I feel like <laughs> I'm trying to think of who else is like decent looking. No homo, but I would say Liam. Is he the blonde one? No, that's. Oh wait. No, that's Louis. That's Louis. <laughs> We need to look out the same. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's you look this up. You can't judge me when you're listening to Indian K pop over here. No, I'm not judging you. <laughs> I freaking. I can see it in your eyes, Edward. No, I was just thinking, like, man, I, I, like, I don't know who any of these people look like. You don't mm. want to know. Whoops. So, wait, wait, isn't he Liam? I thought that was Liam. Oh. Hmm. There's something I kind of like about him, but he just looks like a haggard single dad. And I feel yeah. like I'm like <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, but seriously, Harry is so ugly. Wow. They're all like really not good looking. No. The guy with the tattoos is probably just the coolest one. Wh which ones? More of them have tattoos. Him? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, I feel like he's kind of doing it. Yeah, see, we were right up there, too. So here's the stage. Oh, my God. I feel like there's probably girls weeping next That's to you. There was. This, they were trying this, to jump on stage? They weren't trying to jump on stage because the they had a lot of guard uh, guardrails and stuff. But girls were, like, freaking crying and shit. Crying? Yeah. Did you cry when you seen Interpol? No. I'm serious, no. Have you cried when you seen any 
performing or I cried when bands? I saw Arcade Fire, but that was for like a completely different reason. Oh. It was for like a personal reason and the song was like really sad, so I started crying. Oh. But it wasn't because I was like so enamored with them. But you would totally cry if uh you know, if you seen I honestly don't know if I would. No. Because it's like I don't Would you just freak out out of happiness? I'd scream. I'd like probably jump around and be happy, but I don't think I would cry. Because it's just like you really can't let yourself get so invested into that because it's like One Direction is never gonna love you. They don't care about you. Yeah. You know, and I feel like so many girls just I don't know. They just take everything so personally. Yeah. When it's like the song isn't about you. They weren't thinking about you when they made it. Like honestly, <laughs> if you met them in the street, they probably would brush you off and treat you like shit because they're tired of dealing with girls like you anyway. So I don't understand yeah. why they're getting so moved by guys who really don't care about you. That's why when it comes to like celebrities, I make sure that they seem like an actually decent person and they've shown that they're really good to their fans. Otherwise, I feel like it's really unattractive. And I don't think One Direction's really done anything to like stand out with their fans from what I've read. Like, I don't know. It's just like, just don't get your hopes up so high because they're not going to have sex with you. Well, they might, but then they'll never call you. So. <laughs> <laughs> there was, okay, so there is a point after a song where Harry had these little water bottles and they were like this big. Uh -huh. And he threw it out into the crowd and it landed about two rows in front of me and this girl grabbed it and she shoved the entire thing in her mouth and then proceeded to take it out and then her friend grabbed it from her and did the same thing. <laughs> what? Yes. Not joking. I had I thought I had the video on here, but I think I have it on my computer. She she deep throated. Thing, she put the whole thing in her mouth. Like deep throat? Yeah. And then she took it out and then her friend proceeded to do the same thing. I was just imagining Harry's reaction, like watching this, like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? You're I supposed could, to drink it. I could only see well, like there was nothing in it. Oh. He drank it. He drank it and then threw the empty bottle into why the, would the friend? Why would the second friend do it? It's uh, like, if there's any hairy germs, they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're all gone. inside your friend. Just make out with your friend. <laughs> oh my god. It was hilarious, though. I turned to Katie and I was like, maybe I should date a direction. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, took, we took her sister. We took Amanda. Yeah. Because she's huge in the one Oh, yeah. That's like her favorite band. So. Oh. I feel like boy bands are so important to young girls though, and I feel so deprived of those and want to listen to them. Like I, I gen I'm not trying to be like bros, but I genuinely feel like it's a safe way for girls to like experience feelings and desires yeah. for a guy. So I feel like yeah, that's why yeah. they're so crazy about it because. Like, they're young, you know, there's these older guys, they're talented and experienced, but they're non-threatening. And they're saying everything you want to yeah, hear. Yeah, so I feel like they're just so important and, like, exciting and titillating for, like, young girls because it's, like, desire, but it's not scary, and it's not predatory, and it's not violent. It's, like, a very safe gateway into, like, heterosexual desires, basically. So I don't like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't like seeing them be so crazy about it, but, I mean, I understand, like, where they're coming from. Yeah. Do you think that that, like, you know, being that excited and that in love... Because it, you could be in love with, like, an artist, right? Mm -hmm. At that age? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I think... Well, I think so. But, like, okay, so, like, you could be in love with this person and it's everything that you imagined. Mm -hmm. And so then what happens when you meet somebody else, like, the, a real person? Like, do you think that messes up, like, their, like, standards or for, like, their um, kind of, like, uh, expectations? I feel like that really depends on the person. It depends on how healthy of a mind is in that person. I mean, there's people who become obsessed. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And it definitely affects further relationships. But, Cause I, but some people just grow up and realize, yeah. that. you know? Because this girl that I used to work with, she was like kind of like that. She was super like that with um, Fall Out Boy. So, like, head over heels for... What's the bass player? That the hot one. Okay, yeah, that guy. <laughs> I forget his name. Player. I know he recently had a baby with a hot model, which is really pretty. Oh, uh, but she was like obsessed. But I noticed that her relationships were like she'd always because I worked with her and like mm -hmm. she would always complain to me like she'd be like, oh, the guy is such a creep. He's not like he's not what I want and like I just want to be treated like a princess kind of thing and like I wasn't sure if it was because like. Because she was always tell, told me about how she... Because she fantasized about how her relationship should be. Not how it was playing out. And so, like... <clears throat> I mean, I understand. If you... If, like, a girl, you gotta treat... If you wanna keep a girl, 
you got to treat them how they want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And so, but like, I don't know if her expectations were too high for most guys that she was trying to date. I feel like that's not something you get from like liking a celebrity though. That's, oh. a, that's a lack of communication. Because you have to, you have to really work. I mean, a lot of people nowadays just expect to be in a relationship and expect it to just be, you know, everything that they ever hoped for. But I mean, growing up and being in relationships, I realized that you have to find out what it is that they yeah, want. Yeah, and I feel like so many relationships don't really work out, and I truly don't think it's because, you know, that person was idolizing, like, why can't you be more like Carmen Electra? Yeah. Like, <laughs> who would actually say that? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, because, I mean, like, you know, I there's some male celebrities that I really like, but it's not like I ever expect anything to come of that, and it's not like I compare guys in real life to that, or at least I, not, like, physically, like, oh, why can't you look more like him? Why can't you dress like him? It's more like... What I like about him is that, you know, he's very polite and he, you know, displays chivalry or whatever. Like, I would like if you did that. And I feel like guys just don't get subtlety. So, oh, yeah. if, like, if you want something from a guy, you have to be completely blunt about it. Yeah, you can't yeah. be like, True. oh, you Eddie do. got Brittany flowers out of nowhere. It was so nice. He'll just think of that as, oh, you're sharing a story, not that you want flowers. Like, <laughs> you have to be like, oh, I'd love it if you did that for me sometime. It would be nice. They're so like, oh, okay, that's what you want. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't really think it's because I just feel like some girls are like, I don't know, afraid to voice what they want because they don't want to yeah. be seen as a nag or anything like that. But it's better than... You can tell me what you want, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Relationships. Oh, they're so fun. <laughs> they're fun now. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I was going to say, if you're seriously saying that, maybe we should reconsider. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> They're fun now, but before they sucked. Yeah, I think everyone's had their. You have to, you have to really of... just work on it. I mean, that's the thing that. Yeah. That's the thing that I noticed that like people don't feel like doing anymore. Like, people don't work on it. They just get to a, you know, a, a place where they don't want to be, and then they're just like, "F it, I don't want to be here." You know, I'd rather just walk away than. Yeah. Than repair it. Sometimes that's best. Though. Some, yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's best, but I mean, if you've made like a lifelong commitment to someone though, and like your first option isn't to work it out, you're kind of like a shitty person. No, no, yeah. I mean, I'm just talking about like we were saying, oh, like before, like if you're like dating someone, you'd like date for like a little bit, and sometimes after like, a few months, you're like, oh, like this is not yeah. a good match or yeah. something like that. And yeah. You get to like, oh, you know what? I can't see myself spend, spending the rest of my life with this person. Like, I should really probably break it up. I hate how people always think that like relationships and they have problem with it they always think it's like a personal problem like oh if i wasn't dating Susie, this would never happen when it's like no relationships with anybody are always going to be like this there's no perfect person when you guys are never going to fight or you're never going to get bored of each other like that's just well i'm i'm just saying no, 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 like, yeah, yeah. really really long term yeah, like, yeah, yeah i know you guys aren't like that by now like what if like 15 years later you guys are just kind of like in a in a rut or in a slump or something and then someone's immediate thought is like Oh, I should never have married him. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, it's not like that. It's just when you're with somebody for that long, you need to think of more ways to be, be in a relationship. Yeah. yeah. That's that's my thing. That's a, I think that's why I like being in a relationship with you because I oh. like being creative. Oh my god. Like with cards. Nice. Remember when I used to make yeah, all our cards? We used and to stuff? make each other cards. How adorable. Yeah. I love making cards. I or buying, I or buying the little, the little box of goodies for you. Yeah, yeah. I get some little treats sometimes. <laughs> or sometimes I go grocery shop. I'll, I'll get them like a candy. And I'm like, hey, I got you this candy. I like candies. <laughs> cheese stuff like that. Yeah. Uh. I thought you meant like cheese. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like <laughs> cheese, cheese well. stuff. <laughs> yeah, about cheese whiz. Yeah, cheese whiz. So cheese instead of yeah. instead of like you know the whipped cream bikini, you do like the cheese whiz. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so just like imagining yeah. the smell. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to shower for like Zero an, to a week. Zero hundred, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gross. I'm just imagining what would happen if it like hit like body heat, you know? Yeah. It hit like 98 degrees. Gross. Why get all like melted? <laughs> <laughs> I would never buy cheese whiz for any reason ever. Sorry. Like you eat? No, you know, like the like smell of it makes me want to hurl. No, like she's the. Uh. You make my cheese whiz. <laughs> 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 
Ew. Going that's the some crackers. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know how I feel about cheese stuff. I know. Remember always, everyone always used to eat those like little dippy things? Yeah. Oh, they smell gross. awful. I could never get behind those. They're they so smell gross. so nasty. I have, I have a weird relationship with cheese because like I like it sometimes, but other times it's like, get it away from me. <laughs> like I yeah. won't touch it. I like cheese as like a... That you use sparingly, like uh, like Parmesan or like feta, like a little bit of that. Um, I like the brie. I don't see. I don't like that. So, I, I have a problem with feta. I only like. Well, I know like you're like supposed to use a little cheese. tiny bit yeah. of it. So um, like uh, like a hummus plate, you know, hummus and like pepperoncinis and cucumbers, tomatoes, a little bit of feta on top. I like that. It's really good. <laughs> or like Parmesan on, <laughs> on the Italian food. Like, I went to an Italian restaurant mm. and I ordered the lasagna and they just have like feta cheese like Ew, okay so that's, yeah. that's and I, too it much. was like half an inch thick and i was like it's a very strong cheese like yeah, i think it's supposed yeah. to be just like an it's accent super like it's super cheesy like it's yeah. just like that flavor i was just like get that out of there yeah you know? so i always feel like a jerk if i'm ever somewhere and like i'm served lasagna i'm like that jerk who's like scraping out like the mm-hmm. ricotta cheese just like oh, gross gross and like peeling <laughs> things off and just like eating like the noodles yeah I always feel like a jerk, so it's like my I look like a child. Yeah, my plate looks like a like a three year old just finished not dinner. Fall that lasagna is disgusting. Like I would <laughs> well, never I've eat had, it. I think lasagna I've had. I would I rather think just I've, not eat. I've that had lasagna, lasagna that's lasagna. good, but it's just like a different kind of recipe. I just don't like a lot of cheese in general. I hate like ninety nine percent of cheese. Even with pizza, I have to pick off like half really? the cheese and rearrange my toppings because I can't just have like a bite of just cheese and pizza. It's so gross. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, light cheese. Why don't we just get the cheeseless pizza? I don't want it like cheeseless, but when I get pizza, like for myself, I ask for light cheese. Oh. Or extra sauce. Like, I like that's, Yeah. I, I prefer light cheese. I prefer really? light cheese too. I really do because like messy. They time. they always put it way too much and it's just yeah. like really gloppy and yeah, just like especially oh. not nice. Especially when it's like not I cooked love all not the way nice, and it's I do like too. white with pepperoni. But it makes me oh. sick. <laughs> yeah. What I sacrificed. <laughs> See, that's, I've never even thought to ask for light yeah, cheese. Yeah, me neither. Good... The thing is, and another thing too, I don't even know if I should say, is this recording? Yeah. Should we edit this out? Yeah. Okay, a lot of the times when I ask for like light cheese, they fuck it up and they give me light sauce instead because you're dealing with monsters who want like no sauce and all cheese. And then they make you another pizza because they fucked it up. And I'm like, I'm not, I can't, like, so yeah. And then dad will eat them. <laughs> this has happened twice. And like the last three times we've got, I swear, they always mess it up. They're like, oh, we thought you said light sauce. And even the thing says like light cheese. And they just put a ton of cheese and like no sauce on it. That's because like, they don't read, the fr- they just read the light. Yeah. And, and so they, they just know. assume. I was like, yeah. they just assume. And so my guards are like, can you just like take off the sauce and like just drink <laughs> No veggies. No yeah. veggies. <laughs> Forget the bread, just give me the meat. So like give a a second layer of cheese. cheese. Like, like Gross. <laughs> cheese, cheese crust. Like, oh my god, <laughs> not even. They had, a, a was seat. it Pizza Hut, like a cheese hopper oh, so crust? Yeah, yeah. That looks disgusting. You know when like you bake the cheese in the pan and like the oil like bake or like Ooh. fries the cheese yeah. and it gets hard and crispy? <laughs> Like, you know, like, grilled cheese. Oh, okay. my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> no, mom likes to make that. She likes to just cook, like, burned cheese in the pan, and it smells Oh, awful. that doesn't... I don't know why, but, like, I like the taste. I don't like the smell. It, it smells, smells bad. so gross. It smells like burnt rubber. Yeah. It, just, yeah. it smells, like, sour, and it's... Oh. I used to hate that smell whenever I used to make, like, quesadillas. It would, like... It <gasps> was, like, the leeches out. And yeah, some would, like, leak out, and then you just... Oh, burnt cheese. Yeah. It's like burnt hair almost, too. It happens at work sometimes. A little, like, toaster ovens on, like, sandwiches. Oh, yeah. They'll drip over and all. So I'm just like, something's burning, you guys! Something's you burning! And they're like, what? And then, like, it's because I got the sensitive nose. Yeah. And I'm like, guys, something's burning. Take it out. Take it out. I smell it. They're like, it's fine. I'm like, I can't smell it. I'm going to go throw up now. <laughs> Super fun. Sorry for everyone's ears for my, like, uh, mild okay. yelling. Headphone warning. Yeah. After the fact. <laughs> so I've been listening to the, I've been listening to the Smodcast a lot, and they're always talking. Once in a while, they'll talk about the uh, Scan BC. What? On Twitter, it's like the scan, like the the scanner for like the British Columbia, up in up in Canada, uh-huh. and so like you know like a lot of. Because, you know, they're kind of, like, kind of portrayed as some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. 
And so like Canadians. Yeah. Like they're super <laughs> nice and like yeah. like well mannered, I guess, or something. I wanna go I to know. Canada. So do I. Canada. But on Scan BC it shows like some of the like the calls that they get. It's ridiculous. Like some like the last week when I was they were talking about it, so I was looking it up and some guys they got the police called on them because they were they were tripping out on drugs. But like they were yelling, but they said that they weren't yelling at anybody. They were just yelling, and so the cops showed up and they asked them to keep it down, and then they didn't get arrested. <laughs> well, like I feel like that happened in America. Get like, shot again. yeah. If they're black, oh well, yeah. If they're white, they'd be like, "Sons, I know you're a good boy on the inside. You just need to go inside and pray." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, don't you remember? I can't remember what the actual hashtag was, but it was. I think before the riots, but they were basically talking about like whites get away with crime. There's white people like sharing stories, you know, mostly like DUIs, and the cop would follow them home instead of issuing them a DUI. They wanted to make sure they got home safely. It was such bullshit. It was like infuriating to no end. And then white people always get away with stealing, like pretty much like, always. Oh, yeah. And Except for, yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, anyway, and it was just stuff like that, and it just like drove me crazy. It made me so mad. Or like going to frat parties and seeing like a ton of illegal drugs, and I was like, oh, you know, I understand. Keep it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, I was listening to um, uh, I probably shouldn't say I was listening to a podcast, and the guy was talking about how when he was in college, because he he was an, uh, like a a writer for uh, IGN, and uh, he was talking about how when he was going to school in Missouri, they would like. Missouri. I can already tell this is going to go bad. <laughs> okay. okay. He was he was telling the story about how they would have these ridiculous, like, I don't know what they call them, but, like, they, uh, like, when the, because, you know, they're really big into sports at, like, college campuses yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And Especially he was, Missouri. yeah. And he was talking about how, like, um, there are, like, fraternities that are in charge of, like, rallying up people and, like, throwing parties and stuff. Well, he was in charge of, like, terrorizing the other team, like, the... The rivals, and he would literally call and like, and he'd call and be, he'd try to be polite about it. And he was like, called the coach and he'd call him at like four in the morning and be like, Coach, this is so and so and so. And then the guy, like, the guy got it, but like the kids, the students don't get it. And you know, that's what they want is like, uh, like a reaction from like the, yeah. the other team. And like, yeah. it's supposed to be like taunting or whatever. Anyways, he was talking about how they would have these big old parties and how, um, instead of arresting the kids for having the parties, they, the cops and the campus security, as well as the, what do you call that, the person in charge of the university, yeah, wrote uh, a letter or a flyer and was like, and gave it to them. And there was like a list of things that you don't do so you can have a party and not get arrested. And so like they did everything that they, that they weren't supposed to do. <laughs> and so the next day he's like, oh, I'm going, I'm getting arrested. Uh, I might as well just get drunk. So like... <clears throat> Because the night before, they had that party, they were doing all the stuff they weren't supposed to do. And uh, one of the things that was on that list was, if you're having a party, the host should not leave the house. Well, they all got wasted, and they were like, it's a good idea to go get pizza at, like, one in the morning. So they went and got pizza, and when they got back, the police were there, and, like, because everybody was being loud, and they were, like, breaking stuff. And the cop's like, who's in charge of this? And the guy walks up, and he's like, me! And the cop, like, lectures him and does all this stuff and lets him go. It doesn't get arrested, so that that list, he gets the list, and then he breaks all the rules, and then the next day, he's like, well, I should just get wasted. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. He's like, I should just get wasted and wait for the cops to show up. The cops show up, and they just say, and like, everything, they did everything that they were supposed to, that they gave them, Yeah. but they were, everybody was still wasted and partying, and so the cop shows up, and he, like, and he fully expected to get arrested, and the cop was like, well, you're doing the rules now, so um, I'm going to give you a warning. He didn't arrest him. Even though he broke all the rules, did all Scratch this stuff. He's like a piece of shit, to be honest. He's just, yeah. I mean, probably, probably. I don't know. I don't he know him in like real life. He's a little prick. Like, to be honest, I had greater expectations of someone who writes for IGN. I mean, I, but now I'm like, he just sounds like you're playing grade A, like you're jock douche. To be honest. I don't. TVH IGN. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was. I don't. I don't know. Whatever it is, really I hate to, them. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that's take just, much. That's just, it you just can't grow to be a decent person if you're constantly getting let off the hook for doing dumb shit like that. Dude, When you're like, never held accountable for anything, of course you're going to be, like, an asshole. Yeah. Of course. 
Or have I ever told you the story about my police my police story? The skating thing? No. How you were the only one searched? Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. You're very that proud. was so, <laughs> dude. But it's so, did yeah, I tell you about that? Did I tell you the police story? But I can, I bet I can put it together. <laughs> no, we weren't even skating. Me and my friend, okay, where we used to live, there's these apartments, and right across the street, like here's like the main street, and right across the street is um, a liquor store, and we would always just walk across, the, like seriously, two minutes from his door to the liquor store. We walk out, walk across the, the, in the crosswalk, we're not doing anything. We're walking across the street in the crosswalk, walk through the parking lot before we get into the, uh, into the store. Cop pulls up real fast. And he's like, what are you guys doing? Going to the liquor store. Can I search you? And we were just like, looked at each other. We were like, we kind of both laughed and we, you know, we were just like, okay. And so he's like, pat me down and like all this stuff. And then I had a bag of sunflower seeds in my cargo pant and my cargo shorts. And uh, <clears throat> the cop pulls it out. He's looking through it like fucking thoroughly, man. He's looking through all of my sunflower seeds. He's like, oh, all right, here you go. You guys can go. <laughs> and I was like, what? I was like, that's bullshit. I was like, you're not going to. I told him that. I was like, that's bullshit. I was like, you're not going to search him? And he's like, no, you guys can go. Damn. And my friend was like, he's like, damn, that's messed up. And he's like, you know why he did that? And he looked at the cop and he's like, you did that because he's brown. And the cop just kind of shrugged his shoulders and, went, and he got in his car. I was like, what the fuck? You can't even just go up to somebody and ask if you can search him anyway. Like, and not unless, you have a, unless you have suspicion to believe they did something, you can't just... But I'm sure if you said no, I'm sure he would have, like, you know, beat you up or something. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Smell drugs on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody... So he, he'd probably say, oh, somebody called in, suspicious yeah. people walked through the parking lot. Like, but we weren't even outside when we went to the parking... When right. we went to the liquor store. So, like, he just happened to be driving by and he wanted to, like, search Wait. somebody. That's why, like, when people are always like, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, you should just let the cops search you. And it was like, no, dude, That's they racial funny. profile you like a yeah. motherfucker if you're too dark. Like, it's bullshit. Like, I understand why like, a it's lot of people get so people pissed off. That too. It is. <laughs> and it's like, you don't really understand. And it's not even just that. It's just the principle of the thing. It's just the principle that they stop people who haven't really done anything just because they're not white. That's like, why should you have to treat someone with respect when they do that to you? Yeah. You shouldn't have to. No. I mean, it's just... I don't know. It sucks, and I just... That's why I'm always just like... This is going to end very badly for me if I don't cooperate. So I just yeah. cooperate 100%. Just freaking smile and just be like, all right, fuck you. <laughs> and walk away. Like... Lame-ish. Yeah. But enough about that crap. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. People we should talk about video games. Video games. Um, I, I have just been playing Destiny, but I haven't been playing in like a week. <laughs> Dude, okay, so I was digging through my drawer of junky stuff. Yeah. My DS is in that drawer now. Your DS? <laughs> yes. I can't find my DS. Why? I'm so upset. Do you guys still play your DS? I'm playing I, mine right now. What are you playing? I so did you. Oh. Do not Again? recommend. Like, I haven't even finished it, okay? Oh, what? It's hard, okay? Like, it's gotten to the point where I have to watch this obnoxious-ass loser play it on YouTube because I just, I literally, like, stop it after five seconds and do exactly what he did because <laughs> it's, it's gotten to that point. I swear, this dungeon's ridiculous. It's, like, not, it's just insane. What's so hard about it? It's just, okay, I'm trying to think. Like, it's just a lot harder than... Spoiler. Uh, okay, it's just really, the directions are really convoluted and there's no, there's nothing really intuitive about the puzzles. Like, in order to solve some of the puzzles, you have to go back and forth between the floors to solve one there, and then you, it's just like, it's just too much. And it's honestly to the point where the guy's like, oh, the stairs for the final floor are right there. But you don't get to get to those until like an hour later because then you have to go around, you have to go back to the floor, and then you have to push this thing, and then you have to go back up and push this thing over there, and then you have to go back down again and push that. It's just like ridiculous. And the only way you're going to be able to do it on your own is if you have like an unbelievable level of spatial reasoning, which I do not have. Like, I have no sense of direction. I'm really bad at visualizing things. Like, what happens when I push this? Okay, you know what I mean? I don't have a good... Do you, do you ever take... Do you ever use the notepad on your DS? You can't really even use it on that. Like, you can leave a, a map. Yeah. But the thing is, it doesn't really, like... 
I in, ter- in terms of like in terms of puzzles, like there's a map on there. You can't draw on it. You can't leave notes on it. On your you, notepad? No. The only thing you can do on that screen that you write on is leave a map of what you're doing. Yeah. So it's just like it's basically like a floor map, but it doesn't really help the fact that you have to take this thing there and then you oh, have to set it this way and then you have to set it this way and then you have to go back this way and this way and this way just to like do everything a certain direction just to get from like here to here. It's ridiculous. And I don't even like it that much because the whole point of Persona is the social links, and there's no social links in Persona Q. Oh, I'm it just sorry. plays like it just plays like you know like Braver Default or Final Fantasy or something. It's just you know, like a standard like a party crawler. like dungeon crawler. Yeah. That's all it is, and it's just ugh, it's fucking annoying to be honest. It's I got that game in November, <laughs> still haven't finished it. <laughs> to my credit, I haven't been playing it diligently. But I got to like the final dungeon and I was like, this is just a mess. I do not want to deal with this. So I'm finally trying to beat it. And by beat it, I mean like copying like the exact thing that this random guy does. Because <laughs> I just don't want to figure it out myself. It's too hard. But yeah, I don't know. It's just not very fun. And I'm not motivated to finish it. Yeah. I just want to finish it so I can just be done with it. But I don't think I'll ever play it again. I do not recommend it personally. You haven't been playing your DS at all. I don't even know where my DS charger is. Or oh a DS goodness. charger. I found one. Oh, this okay. is like Land of the Neglected DS. I know. Yeah, I mine's kind of sad. Oh, I'm worried. <laughs> oh, man. You got the limited edition Zelda one, too, I didn't did. you? I did. I wish I could find a way to track it. Yeah. I did you see the... You should go on my... Uh, <laughs> oh, no, that wouldn't make sense. I was going to say if I could dead, sign huh? into my, my Mi Plaza or whatever it is. <clears throat> did you see that there's a new Animal Crossing coming out? No. What? Why? Like what? I can't get into those games. I'm sorry, really? but it, it's like I like it. I was like, but what more could they possibly add to make this like way more interesting? I mean, honestly, you get to pick another kind of fruit or something. No, no. So you like get to make a belt with your shirt. Like, I mean, come on. No. Okay. So like this newer game is a spinoff of Animal Crossing. So instead of like being a mayor of a town or whatever, you design houses. Design houses. Does yeah. Sound kind of lame. I thought it sounded lame too until I watched somebody play it and then I was like, okay, maybe it might be a little fun. Because like you don't get all the items when you get the game. You have to unlock them by doing certain things. You have to like decorate so many else's so many other houses before you get certain things to unlock. And Sounds like a Sims kind of yeah. game. That's or why like I know a, that you're gonna like it. But like I feel like a, it's gonna be like a thousand houses, like something obscene. Okay, but it's also you could play it with, um, you could use the amiibos, or you could use the amiibo cards that are coming out that you take a picture of, and it unlocks mm-hmm. items early. Or you could just play like, like you said, you have to play so many, you have to decorate so many houses before you get certain items, so that way you can like advance the game. Boy, Nintendo is just taking in this uh, in-app purchasing shit. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that's heavily. Well, if you buy this shitty thirteen dollar thing, like you get to unlock something earlier, like that's really yeah. steep. Yeah, it kind of is. I don't know. I like. I don't even want to play just for that sake alone. Like the fact that you can like buy. I don't know. Well, I think the reason people most people buy those things is because they want to collect stuff. I should probably answer. I don't, that. I don't understand oh, any of those. I don't understand the appeal at all. We'll pause it. Pause the pause. Can you do a pause? Maybe. Oh. Maybe I'll just take it real quick. <laughs> BRB. Oh, sorry. Ma. I don't know any so, games that have been like appealing to me. I don't know why. Uh, this totally off topic, but oh my gosh, these chairs. I was gonna say I'm, getting I'm so sweaty. Cause Cause they're like, hurting my I'm butt. Wearing shorts, and I feel for, like this sweat, like. Ugh. Ugh. These are how long? Because it's just like two. We got like the cheapest table and chairs. I think the, the table and like four chairs was like hundred bucks or something. Oh, that's nice. I paid like, seventy for mine. I think it was maybe a little bit more. I don't remember, but, but mine's a little like messed up. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's from a it's like a yard sale thing. Yeah, God, these chairs are so small. Oh, yeah, I it's feel like that's why it was too much flesh extends past the chair. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just feel like my my rump bone. Like against the chair, like it, like the shape of it, like there's not. There's no support. Uh, I, I just get those little cushions. You know, you can like yeah. tie them on. Tie them. Oh, that's decorative. Remember we had that like those heinous yellow chairs, and that white uh, table with the oh, yellow trim. Oh yeah. 
Actually, I feel like those chairs would have been cute had they been fixed up because they look like diner chairs. You know what I mean? I forgot about those. Because they have like the vinyl and, and like, the little the white, white buttons. Yeah. And the table was white and had that weird, like, it was like a mustardy yellow. Yeah, like all weird. around and it was like a weird pattern or something. I don't yeah. Know. Weird times. I totally forgot about that. Huh. Taking me down memory lane, Minnie and me and our old furniture. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she sent me the links. Like, when we were little, we had this mini and me tape. Yeah. Didn't and it get stolen out of the car? Uh, I think my mom, I think mom said something about that, yeah. I think she bought another one, though, for us. And I don't know what happened to that one. Cause the girl's on Mini Street now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you, dance to the beat. We have the girls on Mini Street. Right yeah, with a guitar. Like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the cheesiest. <laughs> La, 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 la. I think I like all the songs so that I can like access it later when we find it. Oh my gosh. Beth, she's like, hey, do, hey, do you remember this? And I'm like, oh my god. I only thought of it. And I was like, oh. Apparently it's all on Spotify for reasons unknown to me. <laughs> Where the hell can I find my link to videos? Oh boy. Girls. Corals. Corals. And then it's gorillas. We girls on in the street. <laughs> that intro though. <laughs> Hi Minnie. Hi Crystal. This reminds me of the keyboard thing with the steps. There's a Uh I feel bad for parents who have to listen to this. <laughs> It'll be you. You're that parent. You're gonna be that parent. <laughs> Have fun and I love like the how lyrics. it seems almost offbeat too, a little yeah. tiny bit. I was just struck by the lyrics because it was like all the songs are all like I'm gonna work hard and be who I want, blah blah blah, just like stuff like that. And I was like, aw. That's nice. It's cute. I feel like at least kids music now, the production values are better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the lyrics are totally shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Deadwood. Birthday party. So what's how's what's? My mom's. I'm getting a pill. I can't take it anymore. You're getting a what? His chairs are. Oh man. His chairs suck. Can we like relocate to the couch? Yeah, we could actually. I feel like it would be less echoey in there anyway. Because I'm sorry, these chairs well, are like. Well, my thing is that we're not going to be as close. Sent, like the, can't, the microphone won't be as centered. Uh, <laughs> what if we just sit? Mm. We'd all have to sit around that little table on the floor. Tell, tell me it. Oh, I caught your yawn. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, why did you give that to me? I was so tired. I didn't want that. You misread my signals. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to just tell you up front what I want. And your yawn is not what I wanted. You gotta be, you gotta be blunt. Hmm. Persona 5. Will not be coming out in 2015. What the fuck? Then when's it supposed to come out? I don't know, when's but you know, the website. <laughs> yeah. 2020. 2020. Yeah. No. Maybe my kid will be able to play it. <laughs> yeah. That's when it's coming out. Zelda. No, I was just Zelda. We don't Zelda. Know. We don't know. Okay. They said so 2015. Uh, then they said 2016, and now it's not even on their like budget. To release it in 2016. Yeah. So there, now, like everybody's speculating that it's going to be a one next of the, gen. Yeah, it's going to do that. Like how Twilight Princess did both. It did Wii and the GameCube. They're mm -hmm. thinking that they're going to do the NX and Wii U. It makes sense because, like, I was just looking at the sales for the Wii U. They just hit 10 million. They hit 10 million, but last year around this time they sold 500 thousand. This year they only sold 100 thousand. So they're not selling very well. I mean, I like the system a lot. I just it, it didn't. It's like, very 
I don't know if I ever would have bought it knowing that Zelda U wasn't going to come to it. If I would have known that, yeah, you're right. I probably wouldn't have bought it either. Because I bought it when I bought the, I again bought the Wii U Collector, Zelda Collector's Edition for, oh my god, why is that blanking on me right now? Wind Waker. Wind Waker, yes. And um, and I was like, okay, I'll have it by the time Zelda U comes out. But now there's no Zelda U, so it just sits there. Yeah. Did you beat Wind Waker? No. <sighs> Did you beat Wind Waker? Nope. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what we're doing next. <laughs> I don't, we're even play, I don't even know if I, I might have it for my GameCube. I haven't played my GameCube in forever. I almost I had, busted out my GameCube yesterday. Game. You do too? Mm-hmm. I love that game so much. I should play that. Well, I haven't been on the Wii U. I, I want to do a Let's Play of it so bad. Let's do it. People, I can't uh, upload it to YouTube. They'll freaking... Oh, yeah. They'll murder me. Nork. They'll hang me. They hang me to dry. I was like... Asshole PewDiePie people, or whatever. How does he not get all his videos taken down? Well, he has <laughs> he has his own like um, basically lawyers, like like YouTube lawyers. That's what I always call them. It's that like makes eight million dollars a year. Yeah. Fuck, to be fucking obnoxious. Yep. Yeah. What the hell? Well, they have like your YouTube lawyers that stop you from getting your videos tagged or flagged or taken down. And you can make, like, you can partner with Nintendo, but Nintendo takes a big chunk of your monetization. Which makes sense, because Nintendo needs it right now. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> I understand, like, it makes sense why. I mean, you're not supposed to upload copyrighted stuff, and video games are copyrighted, so. You're not supposed to be able to, but you can, and the only people taking action is Nintendo, and so people see them as the devil. Because they're the only ones actually following the law. What, what I don't understand, though, is it's great free advertisement. It really is. Because, you know, you go and you watch these people play these games, and you're like, oh, that game looks pretty cool, you know? And then most of the time, if I, before a game comes out, I will just watch it on YouTube before I buy it. I've started doing that. I, that's all I do, because I'm tired of getting burnt on games, dude. That's why I haven't really purchased any game. <laughs> you know, I did just purchase a game. I just bought Tomb Raider. Because it Which was one? on sale. The definitive edition. Yes. That's it was on such sale a for like five dollars. What? Yeah. Dude, I almost want to buy it again. No, <laughs> not really. And that was the only reason because I have it for the PS3. Yeah. But my PS3 is literally just collecting so much dust right now. Yeah. I, don't I have nothing to play on it. I need to get mine back. Crap, my friend I has have it. nothing to play on it. I've already beat The Last of Us like three times and played all the DLCs yeah. and stuff. So I'm like, oh, I just got it. Yeah. I got it for the PS4. A guy that I was working with at one of the... At one of the plants I was working at, he's like, "Oh, I have a, I have the download code. I'm not gonna play it. You want it?" Like, nice. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. See, play. that was the thing too. With the PS4, I have nothing to really. I don't have anything I want to play on it. Their, their, their lineup sucks so bad. Their first party lineups are terrible. I mean, next year is gonna be good, but this year the year even then with like Uncharted bad. and stuff like that, I just don't. I can't find myself paying five hundred dollars for a game. Yeah. Because that's basically what I would be doing. I'd be paying five hundred dollars just to play Uncharted. Hopefully by then it goes down though by next year. Yeah. Because if it went down to three fifty, would you consider buying one I'm or three hundred? It depends. Yeah. I gotta right now with the wedding, it's really oh. hard for me to to justify paying that much for a video game system. Because I wanted because I can't find my DS, so I was like, okay, if it really is lost, I want to get. A new, the new one, the new one, because they have the Majora's one special for that one too, the Majora's Mask. Yeah, and so uh, I wanted to get that, but I'm just like I can't, you know, like the wedding. Yeah, <laughs> they're so expensive, and dude, like I can't, I don't know what it is. Like I'm not excited for this DS, this last one that just came out. Yeah, this is the first time I've ne- not been excited for a Nintendo handheld. And I feel well, kind of like nothing, I'm getting it's old. Got nothing, I mean, the only thing it has on it is the the movement. Like you can move. Yeah. And it, and that to me would have been great because I have a, I have a problem with that because it makes me really dizzy. It gives me a headache. So a lot of the time I turn 3D off. I think I think I didn't play 3D Majora's Mask 3D at all. Really? Yeah. Dude, I need to beat that game. You gave me the strategy guide, and I just need to beat it already. It's so good. I just get so bored. Like I was telling, it's so long. It's like the longest Zelda game I've ever played. How many hours was it? Uh, Majora's Mask. I couldn't 
make it like past day one. I kept dying and I got frustrated and I hate how the music does it like get faster. Like the like when the when it gets closer to like the moon or whatever, and oh, yeah. get fired, I was just like, <laughs> no, 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 just freaking out. You gotta find the song time. I try, man. It's hard. It's it is. Like, it's, it's like I would say the second most difficult Zelda game. What's the first? Zelda two. Yes, that game is ridiculous. That game makes me want to break things. Ugh, I I, I barely played. I just bought like two packs of these. Because <laughs> <laughs> Katie was talking about how she's like, I haven't had those in such a long time. Oh, they're delicious. I want one. Without making a bunch of noise. Crickle, crickle, crickle. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I That too, I've been wanting my DS because I just want to play my Zelda games. Yeah. But I can't find it anywhere. Hurting me. Every day that passes, I'm like, God, I'm never gonna see you again. Is it in your car? I looked. I cleaned my car out. Check my mom's car. Check, I should check my dad's car. I hate when you lose things and then you find it in a place you know for a fact you checked. Yeah. Like recently, I couldn't find my social security card and I knew it was by my desk. So I tore apart my entire room. I tore apart like everything. After I had to get a new one, I found it right on my desk. And I swear to God, it's like. Satan or ghost playing tricks on me because I checked there. That was the first place I checked because I know that's where I had it. I hate losing things because then you always find it in a place you know you checked. So you're probably gonna find it like under your pillow or something ridiculous. Uh, yeah, probably under your pillow. Or next to your bed. Like next to your bed or something. Even yeah. though like that's one of the first places you check, you're probably gonna find it. I should lift up my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it might be under the mattress or something. I don't know. Okay. I think this has gone far enough. You still haven't edited mine yet. I'm feeling very neglected. No, it's edited. I just need to upload it. Did so. you edit out all the other bits? All the bits. All right, later, guys. Bits and titties. It was all about Britney's bees. But I tried eating Chex Mix and I started freaking out because I couldn't swallow because it literally felt like it sucked like all the moisture in my mouth and I felt like I had none to begin with so I was just like, I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> like Chex Mix like coming out of my mouth. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you should have been recording this conversation. <laughs> I am. Uh, <laughs> it was I awful. I want you guys to know because I know that like when I start recording something, we all get into our serious like yeah. conversation talk. But like the things I want to record are just us talking because those are my favorite moments. They're awesome. They're awesome. Oh my Wait God. a second. So how many edibles did you eat? Too much, apparently. Well, okay. Apparently her friend. Okay, this made... is the first time you've ever been high. Yes, and it's the only time I'll ever get high. It was a really ever awful... again. One and done. I'm just done. I I don't like it. It literally it felt like I had no control over my thoughts or my brain. I I was literally on her bed. And I vividly remember constantly, you know, at that point where you're almost asleep and you go, oh, and you wake yourself up. Yes. It was like that over and over and over again. And I kept thinking, I'm asleep in my own bed. And then I go, oh, I'm in Monica's room. And it blew my mind every <laughs> time. Like, it was literally like 10 times an hour that I'd be almost falling asleep. I was like, oh, I'm like, it's so weird, Monica, because I feel like I'm asleep in my room, but I'm in your room. And I just kept doing it over and over and over again. And we watched like four episodes of Fashion Police, and it was just the same one over and over. And none of us cared because we were too high to care. But I guess I remember eating two, and they tasted really awful because there was just so much weed in them. It just yeah. tasted like eating like weed. Because, Ooh, were they brownies? Yeah, they are brownies. But he had made a batch for her like the other day, and they were hella weak. So I guess he tried to make them super strong this time, and I ate two of them. And she told, she's like, "Oh, you need." Wait, to how big are they? I don't know, like that big. Oh my gosh! But yeah, they had a lot in them because when you're tasting it, you strongly taste the weed. It just tasted awful, and it was like, "Oh, I don't feel anything at first. And then it was just like I felt brain dead. Honestly, I was it was between this state of like almost asleep and almost awake, and I just like couldn't process any thought at all. I just felt really stupid. And I didn't enjoy it. And I was like, oh, well, you're way too high. I'm like, I, I understand that, but I, I don't even want, like, a dumbed-down version of feeling that <laughs> It was awful. Because <laughs> I just, I couldn't think of anything, and I just kept saying the same thing over and over again. I was really irrational. Like, I just, 
everything was hard. Like eating was hard, drinking was hard. Like wait, so were you chewing up Chex Mix and it was just like crumbling out? Because it was felt so dry. My mouth felt so dry, but I was so hungry. And there was like Chex Mix on the counter, so I put some in my mouth, and it was like I couldn't even crunch it because it felt like my entire mouth was just like. <laughs> gross and she's like oh my god you're being too obvious get some water blah 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 but yeah i was not fun to be around wait I, was her parents were her parents home? her mom was home but oh, i remember her mom came in and we were like eating brownies <laughs> and monica just like oh act natural act natural so we're just like eating brownies and her mom's like talking to us and then her mom left and she goes none the wiser <laughs> so we all just say it to each other all the time but yeah her mom's just like oh you know make sure you do your laundry or whatever and we're like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, it was not good. I literally thought I was dying at the end. I, I was told so you. so tired, but I just could not fall asleep because I was like convinced that I was gonna die. How long were you high for? Hours. Because we watched. Because we watched. I think it was three episodes of Fashion Police, and that was after just like dicking around her room for a long time too. So I'm pretty sure it was probably from like five to eleven, and huh. it's just like it was really it was not fun. <laughs> So your experience was completely opposite <laughs> of mine. I <laughs> smoked weed once, and I'm never doing it again. And um, I fell asleep, like, five minutes later. <laughs> we sat on the couch because my sister was like, oh, we have to watch a funny movie because funny movies are so much better in your hands. So we put on A Million Ways to Die in the West, and I died during, I mean, it died. I fell uh, <laughs> <laughs> asleep during the opening credits. Like, <laughs> it does make you super tired. <laughs> See, and then I, I woke up the next morning on the couch just like, Okay. Like, that was lame. <laughs> I had so much fun being high. <laughs> Everyone has different experiences. I had so much fun being high. Like, I mean, for the record, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do anything. I haven't done anything in, like, what, 20 years? No, 15 years? 15 How years? old are you? I'm 30. No, 15, like, 15 <laughs> years almost. 30 years. No, I think the last time I was, like, 16. So, almost 15 years. So, 14 years. And so, like, but I remember having so much fun. Like, but Probably, I, I feel like part of us when you're young, I feel like you just think the idea of it's like super fun. Yeah. Like well, when you're 16, I like, was, oh, I'm getting high. Like, no way. I was I was so scared because like I knew like it messed up like my family and stuff. Any drug. I was paranoid when I was a kid. I was like, any drug messed up my family. I was like, I don't want to do it. And my friends were all smoking. And then one day they knew I wouldn't do it. And then one day they were like, and I was just like, and I remember this because we're sitting there, we're listening to Third Eye Blind. And like we we're all just chilling, and like they had offered me a bunch of times before. I was like, Nah, man, you guys know I don't do that. Blah blah blah. And then they didn't even ask me this time. My friend just, and I was like, Pass, pass, pull. All right. <laughs> yeah. And then I smoked, and I didn't get high. So you stopped. So then I was just like, the next time we were all hanging out, then they were just like, All right, because like, I thought maybe it was like a cigarette, but like mm. I have asthma, so like I can't smoke. Mm-hmm. I could only take like. A, like a hit and like I'm okay like whatever like I'm cool now and I got high like really high like and I had fun I was laughing and we were like super energetic like we were like running all over the place outside rollerblading that's strange though because isn't marijuana like a mega depressant there's different kinds we had there's some a- they had some good stuff what is it going to like, understand. like Satvia and something yeah, rather. Have, and I, I don't think they had that many rides 15 years ago. No, no I mean, like, there, like there's two categories. Oh, like okay. my boss was telling me. There's like, I, I can't remember. I think like one's like Satvia or something. So this is the person who's never smoked before. It probably sounds like an idiot because I don't know what I'm talking about really. But she's one is the kind of like, oh, like. Yeah, you're not missing And anything. the yeah. other one just kind of makes it like, instead of being like, I got it like, I, I'm going to clean the house. All right, I, I'm gonna clean. Like, I like this a, is crystal meth. <laughs> no, no, no! Like, I'm gonna clean. Like, look at that. We're just yeah. kind of like, I, I want to count these receipts. It's okay. Let's count these. Receipts. So she'll like, like smoke, and then she'll do like paperwork. And stuff. <laughs> no, like I, I didn't feel like I had like an energy drink or anything. It just felt like everything was a good idea, and I was super happy to do anything. I just love. I can't mess I've with never alcohol. Been drunk. No. I can't. I can't mess I've with that. I've been drunk a couple of times. I usually only I do it when do. I go to Vegas. I do. Yeah. Although yeah. I get, I do the. I don't know what level of drunk I could call this. Still, like I can still feel everything, you know. Buzzed. 
Yeah, I'd say you were buzzed pretty hard. I feel like I was probably a little drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were start like, just feeling your face and so you're drunk. I, I feel, myself. okay, I feel like if you, can, <laughs> really? if, you, yeah. if you can't feel your face, I'm pretty sure you're like beyond drunk. <laughs> yeah, like, I Because uh, I would say I've only, like the first one I drank was probably only in the last like year or so. The alcohol is not killing me at all. Um, I don't know. I like I have a handful of times. I've had fun. Yeah. Um, if I, I mean, I don't go to parties or anything. I just like I said, like I like to go to yeah. parties <laughs> yeah, and have fun there. And I'll have the occasional beer with lunch or dinner. Yeah, but that's about it. Breakfast. I actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. a mimosa maybe. Uh, me and Katie just actually found like because I don't drink wine. I hate wine. Like oh, all yeah? kinds of it. Do you like wine? I like white wines. But we just I like found sparkling wines. Especially. We just found, we went to uh, her friend's wedding the other day, and we found a wine that I thought was like phenomenal. I can't even tell you what it was, <laughs> but it was. You really, you got that drunk delicious. off of it? I didn't get drunk off. Of it. No, <laughs> I just had I had two cups of it, um, but it was delicious. What and color was it? It's pink. Yeah, like a rose or yeah, a, it was like it tasted like strawberry soda. Or is it? Oh, so it was sparkly. Um, yeah. Hmm. And so why do I want soda now? <laughs> you guys are talking about beer. And so we we decided that that one was gonna be the one we're gonna use for our wedding, like for our toast. Yeah. Like Did you find out what kind it was? Yeah, I found it out of Ryan's. What? Uh, Andre? I, don't know, I might be able to find it if I look yeah. on my phone. But because if you like if you like delicious. wine that doesn't like it's obvious. Okay, people will be like, oh, it's not wine. But I've had was it like the barefoot bubbly before? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because where I used to work, um, they would provide Gallo with food sometimes. And so when they had their anniversary, they gave us like a whole bunch of this barefoot bubbly. I remember I thought it was so cool because so my bosses were like, you want some? And I'm like, I'm closing. They're like, you can have a glass. And I got to drink at work and I thought it was really cool. But it was like a like f- fusion flavor. It had like a tropical fusion. Yeah. And it was so good. <laughs> it was so yummy. Oh, man. I think I've only had like maybe five drinks my entire life. The thingy at Outback, uh-huh. Wallaby Garden. That one time we went to Alex, Alex, Alex's house. Yeah. That. Oh, I forgot you had drink. One time at that party, which I wish I didn't. And then, and then, like a tiny bit of that spritzer at that wedding to make mom freak out. Oh, yeah. I remember we were like, how long will it take? It was like, oh, it was a wine cooler, Jocelyn. Yeah, I, that's literally, like, literally all I've had. Like, those are like in 2% my life. alcohol. Um, yeah, I remember because she wasn't 21 yet, and they were at like our cousin's wedding, and our dad even that was, was one of them. Our dad was even in on it, and Jocelyn's like, "I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna see how long it takes mom to notice that I'm drinking an alcoholic beverage and I'm not 21 yet." <laughs> she was like, "What? What? What? 19? 20?" I'm pretty sure I was 20. I don't yeah. think I would have pulled that when I was 19. Yeah, and I think she got like halfway through before also my mom's like, "Are are you drinking?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and dad's like. Honey, it's, it's a wine cooler. Yeah. Like it's a single wine cooler gonna, we're uh, having with a full meal. Like wine coolers are not good to me. I've had a good one. I think the only other one, and I don't think this counts, is like a mixed like a little bit of. How do you make a screwdriver? My dad made me a screwdriver. It's vodka and orange juice. Yeah, but I only let him put like a little. He was like, I was like, he's like, I was like, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Why does dad make you a screwdriver? Because my throat really hurt. I felt oh. really sick. Well, that's my throat hurt. <laughs> I, actually, I did that once though when I'm I was puking. like sick and I didn't have. Um, no, I just I just want to oh. oh, I like I remember I was like sick once and I didn't have any cough syrup and yeah I had some orange juice and I added uh, oh, to, to help gross. me uh, like lose something and fall asleep. It, it just tastes like hot, like you can feel it burning. Okay. I want to say that's it. Mm, just trying to but mm. you can get it at O'Brien's and it's only five dollars a bottle. What? Yeah. Sorry, that was really loud. That's okay. We bought two. <laughs> nice. Not not like not counting down, but there's because it's summer, so every once in a while I'm just like, man, like certain meals, like a margarita sounds really good. Are, were you counting down the days so you could drink? That's that what you were saying. I was like laughing. And I said like, no, I'm not really counting down, but like, so I wouldn't say I drink like a lot, a lot. I think you're scaring Eddie. <laughs> No, like, but you're I, sounding a little bit dependent. I know, so, just a little. I was joking. I'm not actually just counting. Much. Okay, whatever. I feel like you should. You would be counting down the days to coffee more than you would. Alcohol. Yeah, I miss coffee more than anything. As a barista, yeah. That's tough. And people say like you can drink some, but I'm too scared to. Crap. 
crazy going cold turkey. Uh, I drink like, I've had like some green tea or like yeah. a little bit of black tea. It's like really light bits of caffeine, but um, yeah. That's why you take naps all the time. It's probably why. <laughs> I get worn out so fast, it's really stupid. It's pro- and then, uh, the other thing, totally like non related, but I used to always sleep on my stomach. I probably could, but it's like not. Yeah, it's I don't not really comfortable. Know. Like why? And no, There's I don't think that's safe at all. Right, but like I just don't understand. People like so, my sleep. back like hurts now so, like, all the time. Beyonce sleeps like that. All oh my! Like, I just like yeah, I, doesn't she, she sleep does, like she doesn't. She sleeps like like an A. <laughs> she puts her hands back like this, and her legs are her legs are open like that, and then she t- crinks her neck like this. I'll try and get a picture. Uh, Don't you have time. a picture of me like basically sleeping in the same way? Yeah. When we first moved in the house, and I like laid down for a second just because I was like, I just want to stretch out. Yeah. And like, I was out <laughs> like yeah. the same way, like and like so, a diagonal so across the bed with like my legs sticking off the side. Because I never noticed because I usually fall asleep before she does. Mm-hmm. But like we went on vacation one time and I um, I was going to the store and so I said and we we drove to Pasadena. And so I said, go take a nap, and I'm just going to get some stuff at the store, and then I'll be right back. And when I walked in, she was just like, like that. Like, <laughs> neck cranked. And she's always complaining about her neck hurting. And I'm like, now I know why. <laughs> like, you freaking sleep like you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, she literally just, like, got drunk and passed out on the couch. Like, oh, that's man. what she looks like. It's hilarious. I sleep on my back. I sleep on my side. I sleep on oh, my side. I love sleeping on, on my side. side. Yeah. But I can't. Like shoulder, though. Like, I always feel like I like do a thing, and that's probably why I like, my neck and shoulder is so I try not to go. <laughs> I really, I, like, I literally deliberately try and sleep like this. Your like earbuds are, where are they? Because I want to play with this tea paint thing, but it recommends. My bed. I, record, it, I recorded part of her conversation on it. Oh, really? It, just says, it, it, it recommends. Says it's recommended. Probably because it has a lot of gold. Oh, a lot of gold. Freestyle! I'm not close to <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh. It's bacon. Ew, God, get away from me. What? It's like a bacon vagina. Is it bacon vagina? <laughs> bacon Ew, vagina. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the first part? I was like, really? They just make me uncomfortable. Well, they just make me mad because it's like, I feel like everyone makes a joke about like how irresponsible and like, what's going on? You're getting feedback from that. From me putting the headphones in? Were they in all the way? Yeah. That's what she said. Weird. X-Files. Yeah, but that has to be what it is then. That's weird. Okay, never mind. Because I thought it would like record better if I put it in. Um, cool. I know some, or like on my birthday when we went to that thing. So I don't know if you could tell that first one. I was not comfortable at all. I was just like. What's that? When we went to that bar and met with Heather. Oh, yeah. I was totally like. Because we were like talking. I'm like, I have nothing to contribute to this conversation at all. I'm just basically sitting there. I'm like, uh, okay. I felt like really awkward. Then I had my first drink. And then by the end of that, Heather's like come back and we're gonna go dancing forget the boys we're gonna go dancing and we're gonna anytime girl anytime we're like yeah I feel let's like, go dancing like if you're just drunk with girls then maybe it would be fine but it's pretty like, funny i feel like it, i feel like you'd have a lot of fun if you did that yeah yeah me like went out with girls and just kind of 
for because you're not gonna. I think you might too, actually. I don't know. I like really. Let's go to a gay bar. Yeah. yeah, that's where it's I usually go not, dance. Though. Like, I'm bars. so turned off at the idea of getting drunk because everyone always throw, d- the jokes around like, oh, you fuck someone you don't even like. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's not funny. Like, that like hurts people. Like, I don't know. It was really turns me like off. If anything, like, you've seen the thing, the jokes online, like, oh, about whatever happened to all of those nice girls that became best friends within the bathroom. Like, because I have been to the Tiki Lounge. I used to go dance with our friends. And I'd like go in there and. Girls are like, oh my gosh, oh, your necklace, oh, did you see her necklace? I look, it's a little cupcake, oh my <laughs> god, that's so cute, oh, they look, they're like, they're like, it's like the nicest turn on, like, times a hundred, you're like, what? And at first you think they're being sarcastic, but they're not, they're just drunk. <laughs> they Tell can't... me you were recording that. No. Oh, that would have sounded so funny on the Tuesday night. Tab to continue. I feel like with just girls, it might be okay, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like I'm still super bitter about it. Like, mm, I don't like people when they're drunk, so they make bad decisions that affect yeah. me, and it wasn't my fault. I wasn't drunk. You gotta be around. I mean, no, people, hey, I totally understand what you mean by there's that. There's people yeah. that are dumb shits when they're drunk. Yeah. And I stay away from those dumb shits because I have the f- some, some people, I don't mind being around drunk. Like, you when you're drunk? I just, just, get, I don't, don't I even, just get like, even louder than I am now. <laughs> no, like when you're you're just normal. Like I hate being around some well, people older, pe- stupid people. <laughs> some people, yeah, they're bad when they get drunk, and then yeah. I don't invite those people over to my house anymore. <laughs> I just laugh a lot. I get yeah. really giggly. So do I. Everything Eddie, to me is funny. Eddie can attest to that. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, babe. You're laughing an awful lot. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh no, I did hear an interesting. Um, like statistic about like kids not drinking choosing not to drink anymore mm-hmm. like there's a large amount of kids that don't drink probably because all their parents are alcoholics yeah. well because the internet the internet yeah they don't want to look dumb on facebook um, or like dumb on instagram because you know everybody or there's cameras everywhere so if you're drunk and you do something stupid chances are it's going to end up on on the internet yeah. and once I, it's on the internet that's forever that's kind of interesting because that's really like my last like I didn't even think of that. That's yeah, the thing that I mean, but these factor. are younger kids, yeah. like kids that are in high school now. Yeah, people are doing like the fucking cinnamon challenge and the <laughs> dumb shit like that. But yeah, that knockout game that people were playing that was awful. I don't even know. I forgot about that. I don't even know. People was, just knocking each other out. Yeah, I forgot. It was about random that. people. Like they would go up to somebody walking and they would punch him in the back of the head and try and knock him out. But what okay. the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> no, this okay. was like two years ago. Yeah, like two years ago that surfaced up, and like I kind of called BS because there was a gang in. Um, it wasn't a gang; it was a fight club. It was a fight club in Las I Vegas, and to get into the gang, you had to go knock somebody out, and that's where it started. And they videotaped it. Yeah. And that's how they got. That's one of the ways that they got caught. Because these these kids would and they'd always go to parties yeah, and, try. and and they well they would just pick fights with people and they wanted to beat people up. Right. And it was the only reason that they were in a gang was so they can go beat people up. And so, but the only way to get into it was that you had to go and you had to knock somebody out. And you not you had to beat somebody up. You had to knock them out one punch. And that's how you got in. Yeah. Is and there so, any like, other reason why people join gangs, though, like, there's a reason other than wanting to terrorize people. But like, <laughs> these were suburban kids, though. They were just white suburban kids. Mm, my favorite. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> they, <laughs> <laughs> but then when they showed it on like in social media like two years ago, it was all black kids. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I was just like, I don't know. I don't buy this. All these kids in these videos are black, and they're all True. in like these uh, suburban areas. And in different parts of the country, especially up far on the East Coast, where like, like in the video, like people, I think it was on Reddit, they they, they picked the videos apart, yeah. and they figured out where the sources were coming from, and it showed that the, not, none of those videos had anything to do with each other, and the fact that they weren't even playing a game, just that all of them, the only thing they had in common was that they had hit somebody unexpectedly, and knocked them out. <laughs> no. I thought it was funny. I think it's funny. I thought it was funny. I chortled a little. Chortle? Chortled. I was like, yeah, that was me. Like, at like 3 a.m. on Tumblr. Like, oh, okay. Let's see. How do you stop this thing? How do you stop 
Stop recording. Okay, I pause, I guess, and then you just play. Sure. Oh, that's recording. Have yeah. you guys been on straight white voice texting? <laughs> no. It's the best Tumblr ever. Literally. Because it's just yikes. Wait. Is what Tumblr happened? still a cool thing to do? I guess. I don't really reason. I only followed it once because How, of a uh, YouTuber, the and then like, he didn't post anything. It's just all to text like this, this. like guys just trying to like get with girls and say something like that. That's weird. And thinking it will work, and it's like no. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand why guys like get off. Like, they think it's like okay to say those things, but. I don't know. The first, the next time that that works will be the first time <laughs> that that actually works. It's, like talking yeah, to somebody like that. I don't understand like why. Or like talking, trying to talk to. They a get so much hate mail. Oh, yeah. They, exactly. they, the that blog, straight white boys texting. They get so much hate mail. Like guys are like, oh, I'm gonna rape you, you stupid feminist cunt. I hope you. And I'm like, you're really not doing yourself any favors here. You're trying to argue that. Oh, all white boys aren't like that. I'm just gonna fucking yeah. threaten to rape you and kill you and throw your body in a tomb. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah. It's just stuff like this. Like, literally, if you text me something like that, like, I'm never gonna talk to you. <laughs> it's just text like that. Just guys saying nasty stuff like that. Oh dear. That hurts. Oh. Just a wee bit. Oh no. Let's go move. No, it's okay. I was just, I was just saying, just complaining, as I do. Wham, wham, wham. Oh, yeah. All right, bro, dude. I gotta go. Jose's gotta get ready for work. 